The Sensei Portfolio Advisor provides an automated health check of the projects in your Microsoft PPM environment and teaches project managers how to build good schedules and manage project execution in line with the organization's governance process. On the health page, it provides a high-level summary with count of projects, resources, and tasks in the portfolio, as well as the average schedule compliance score and any exceptions to the governance process, such as projects that haven't been statused or published recently. Users can apply additional filters to quickly get to the projects they care about. On the leaderboard page, users can view a summary by schedule owners and departments, including an average score for these and counts of problems, warnings, and messages. The projects page shows a summary of status, tasks and time, issues, and risks across the selected portfolio, and the table below shows the individual projects. From here, it is easy to navigate to a specific project for more detailed information. For the AA Tenant Renewal Project, we see the summary information at the top, like project type, percent complete, who the owner is, and key dates. Then, the tiles highlight exceptions that we need to pay attention to. Red means the project is violating a governance check and that specific check is considered a problem or severity one. Yellow also means that we're violating our governance checks, but it's considered a warning or severity two. Blue is simply informational in nature. As a project manager, I need to pay attention to these exceptions and start to chase down unsubmitted timesheets and reschedule incomplete work into a future reporting period and so on. Otherwise, my project status is not accurate and we have data quality issues. The compliance pages go one level deeper and show detailed problems within the schedule. It highlights problems with my work breakdown structure, resources, schedule, and links. For example, we know that duplicate task names can cause confusion since team members can't easily tell the difference between tasks. Missing links and tasks not added to the baseline are just a few examples of other compliance violations. The filters on the right-hand side can help us review the schedule by severity and check type. Users of the app can also export the results to a PDF file to review offline or send to the project manager responsible for this schedule. The schedule compliance checks are based on industry standards from the Project Management Institute as well as generally accepted best practices. The governance checks are also best practices and all checks can be adjusted to the appropriate severity level or ignored entirely if they are not relevant for your organization. Many of the checks can be adjusted to reflect specific tolerance levels and overall process. The app can be used standalone or embedded into the project detail pages to allow users to see compliance and governance status right within the existing views. In the example here, we've added the compliance score, breakdown, and tasks with the most problems directly onto the schedule PDP. Another option is to add the full governance and compliance modules onto a dedicated project advisor page, allowing project managers to stay in the tools they're familiar with and monitor exceptions throughout. A high quality portfolio of projects can greatly improve timely delivery, reduce cost overruns, improve scope management and resource utilization. The Sensei Portfolio Advisor helps organizations implement better standards and improve quality and delivery success.